I'm going to show you how to transfer your own design onto your material to create a unique fabric that can be used for a number of upholstery projects. All you need for this cheap yet effective technique is a bottle of acetone, which you can buy in any art and craft shop, an old rag, a photocopier to photocopy your design, and just some plain fabric which you can buy online or in any material shop. Okay, now this part is really important. You have to make sure that you use a photocopier to photocopy your image and not an inkjet printer as the ink won't transfer onto the fabric and this process just won't work. Also, you must make sure that the photocopy you use is fresh, no more than a day old, or the ink won't come out black and this tragedy will happen. So you want to start with your blank piece of fabric and then you want to lay out your images so that you get an idea as to what the finished design will look like. Now, if you have text in your design, like I do, then you're going to want to flip the image, which you can do on most photocopiers. It's really easy. This is so that when you transfer the design, the text is the right way up. Right, now I'm going to show you how to transfer your image onto the fabric. So you want to take your photocopy, lay it face down and line it up where you want it. Then you want to take your bottle of acetone, making sure you read all of the health and safety advice on the side and also make sure that you're in a well ventilated room. You then get the rag quite wet with the acetone. You then want to hold the image down firmly with your spare hand and press down so that you can see the ink coming through. Then you just want to rub a small area, quite hard, so that the ink transfers successfully. And once you're happy with that, just still holding it, peel back one of the edges and see if the ink has transferred onto the fabric, which it has quite nicely here. So you just want to carry on doing this until the whole image is covered with the acetone. Now once you're happy with the coverage and you think that all of the ink's transferred, just have another little check and see if it has, which it has. Then you want to just peel off the paper and there you have it. Now once you've transferred the image as many times as you want your design repeated, you're left with this beautiful, unique piece of fabric.